Hi there, my name is Sean, and today I'd like to show you the latest ranktank.org tool, the Keyword Opportunity Finder. I built this tool to look for keywords in bulk, find uh, what the ranking difficulty might be uh, using the SEMrush API, uh, build a list of keywords based off of that, and then look at each keyword in the list by crawling the top 10 Google search results, crawling each page on those search results, and seeing how optimized those pages are for each keyword that I've chosen. So it's built completely out of a Google Doc. It's completely open source, so go ahead, change it, do whatever you want to it, make it better. Um, but let's dive in and I'll show you how it works. I've tried to build the tool to be as straightforward as possible with the goal of building a list of keyword opportunities that you have a pretty good idea that you can rank for. Um, so you don't need an SEMrush API key, however, it does really help. Um, and you would enter that in the config panel. Right here I have mine entered but hidden, uh, so you'll be able to see the full functionality. So how this works is you start with a keyword and hit enter. So this is going to take Google suggest queries and then match it up with SEMrush data. And it's going to look for keywords that match your parameters, which you define right in here. So as you can see, I've got only keywords above 50 search volume, below this number of results, and below this ranking difficulty. Uh, ranking difficulty is a fairly new SEMrush metric available via the API. And what they do is they compare the top 20 uh, search results for every keyword against every other keyword in their database uh, to give a comparative analysis and a quick number. So it's a percentage. Um, and it's fairly accurate. So it's pretty cool. And you can use it right from the API, which this Google Sheet is doing. So, uh, using these parameters, I've got a, a pretty big list of skateboard keywords that kind of match my uh, ideal keywords. Um, so you can use the choose keyword column. Say I wanted to add this keyword. And if I select true, it's going to highlight that and choose that keyword and keep that in my list. Uh, and if I don't want this keyword, so this, uh, you know, SEMrush says ranking difficulty is kind of low, but I know it's too broad, so I can set it to false and take it out of my list. And what this list is doing is populating this export tab, uh, which you can use to pull the keywords out into Excel, copy, paste, whatever. Um, so that's where it's saving your list that you're building. Um, you'll notice not all keywords have SEMrush metrics, uh, but that's okay. You know, sometimes we still want these keywords, so we'll just uh, keep them in here. Um, escape or anatomy, eh, false. And uh, you can change these parameters. So there's a ton of keywords that came back. So I can change that to only below 70. And uh, it will eventually recalculate. So let's keep it up at 75 so we have something to work with. And I'll just arbitrarily add a couple keywords and then show you what the next step in the workflow is. So the second tab is called Advanced SERP Ranking Difficulty Analysis. And this tab is the part of the tool that I am most proud of. If we go over there, <clears throat> what this is actually doing is populating a drop-down list with all of the keywords that have either been uh, chosen uh, automatically by your parameters or keywords that you've uh, selected true to add them to your list. And then when you select one, what it does is it actually goes out and crawls Google top 10 results. 
so straight from the search engine result page, and then crawls each ranking page uh, to see how optimized that page is for the keyword in question. So we're looking at skateboard blanks. So this is saying it's uh, kind of an unoptimized SERP for this particular keyword. And it right now judges 11 metrics. And it looks for things like, uh, well, it looks for SEO stuff that uh, would kind of clue you in to the fact that an SEO person is working on the page. So it looks at, is the title too long? It looks at, um, is it missing a meta description? It looks at uh, multiple H1 tags. But then the more important thing it does is it looks for, has the page been optimized for the exact keyword in question? So it looks at, um, is the title missing the keyword or does the title actually contain it? Is the URL missing the exact keyword or does it contain it? Uh, and it looks in the H1 tag for the exact keyword. So this gives you a pretty solid idea of has an SEO person gotten to this search result page for this particular keyword? Um, and if it's a heavily optimized SERP, you know, it's not a great opportunity. So we could go back and just remove whatever keyword from our list by selecting false. And then uh, let's go, you know, to the next one. So using this method, you're going to build up a list of keywords that uh, should be pretty easy to rank for. So keywords that uh, are within certain criteria and are on relatively unoptimized search result pages, uh, giving you uh, a really good opportunity, uh, hence the name Keyword Opportunity Finder. So that's all I have. Again, my name is Sean Malseed. Uh, I work for a company called Circle Rank. Actually, I, uh, that's my agency here in Philadelphia. And I run Rank Tank, and I take uh, submissions for other tools like this, especially open source, do-it-yourself style SEO tools uh, built into Google Docs uh, and other platforms. And there's a couple other really great contributors there and some other really great tools, so check it out, ranktank.org. And if you have any questions or if you can improve this sheet, um, please do, and drop me a note in the comments. Thanks.